Hi, welcome to the series of lectures on the fluid mechanics. In today's topic, we are going to uh, discuss on the topic of equivalent pipe. So, equivalent pipe. Before going into the discussion, first of all, we have to know what is the um, exact definition of this equivalent pipe. Equivalent pipe is nothing but um, the pipe which is having uniform diameter um, and also loss uh, having the uniform diameter pipe which is having loss of head and discharge equal to loss of head and discharge of compound pipe consisting of several pipes of different lengths and diameters. That means if uh, generally when we are laying the pipes we are seeing uh, when a uh, Suppose if we have to lay a pipe from this section to this section, generally we are using uh, first um, pipe of diameter D1, next it becomes, it may becomes D2, next again it may becomes D3, next again it may becomes D4 like this. So this is one diameter, this is one diameter, this is one diameter and this is one diameter. This means these are the different pipes having different diameters, not having equal diameters. So, if we want to uh, change all these four pipes into single pipe, then that is called as the equivalent pipe. So, these, these are the compound pipes, that means number of pipes are connected together. So, this compound pipe we have to change into equivalent pipe, then we need uh, exact diameter. Uh, exact diameter of the pipe which is also discharge same discharge uh, coming from this pipe and the loss of head whatever the loss of head occur in these pipes so the same loss of head should be occurred in the equivalent pipe also this is of diameter d which is equivalent pipe this is equivalent pipe and this is having a diameter d and which is having uh, loss of head, something loss of head as HF. So, from this also loss of head is HF, but here the diameters are different, different. And ultimately, here Q1, here Q2, here Q3, here Q4 are the discharges. The total discharge is equal to Q. From this pipe also, the discharge is equal to Q and the diameter is D. When we compare the discharge and head loss from the compound pipe, and from the equivalent pipe, these both should be same. In such a way, we have to design the diameter of the equivalent pipe. So, equivalent pipe is nothing but it is a pipe of uniform diameter which is having uh, same loss of head and diameter, as, uh, same loss of head and discharge as equal, uh, uh, that means compound pipe having the Mm, uh, discharge and uh, uh, loss of head. That means, uh, what I mean to say is, whatever the discharge and head loss coming from the different compound pipes should be equal to the uh, same discharge and head loss in the equivalent pipe. In such a way, we have to select the diameter of the pipe and length of the pipe. This is the definition of the equivalent pipe. So, in today's class, we are going to derive a one derivation for the how we have to um, if if they given different lengths of pipes like this in this diagram uh, D1, D2, D3, D4 and L1, L2, L3, L4. If we want to change this compound pipe into equivalent pipe, how we can uh, um, derive the diameter, how we can find out the exact diameter of the pipe and exact length of the compound pipe. There is a one derivative, one formula will be there. So, that derivation we will see in this class. So, I am assuming um, the length of the pipes, different pipes will be there. So, I am assuming those pipes as length L1. L1 is equal to length of pipe 1. L2 is equal to pipe 2, L3 is equal to pipe 3 and D1 is dia of pipe 1 and D2 is equal to dia of pipe 2 and D3 is equal to pipe 3. These are the different lengths and different diameters. Uh, by combining this we get here. this is D1 and L1. Uh, and this is D2 and L2 and again this is 
d3 and l3 i am just to draw the rough diagram the pipes may not be exactly like uh, like this shape it may vary here it may be thin and here it may be thick also so these are the different lengths and diameters of the compound pipe uh, so we have to convert all these into uh, uh, into equivalent pipe so how we can change into equivalent pipe means we are considering l as the length of the equivalent pipe length of equivalent pipe and d as dia of equivalent pipe d as dia of equivalent pipe so the ultimate length of the equivalent pipe should be equal to length of all these three so then only we get so that's why l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 and the head loss whatever will be the head loss will be there total head loss i am representing h h equal to head loss this head loss also equal to uh, h is equal to uh, already we see the formula for the head loss that is head loss hf is equal to 4 fl v square by 2 gd this is the general uh, head loss formula so i am writing for the first pipe so it becomes 4 f1 l1 v1 square by 2g d1 for second pipe it becomes 4 f2 l2 v2 square by 2g d2 plus for third pipe it becomes 4 f3 l3 v3 square by 2g d3 here I am considering F1 is equal to F2 is equal to F3 is equal to F only. So then this F1, F2, F3 place I can substitute single F. On the discharge we have the formula Q is equal to area into velocity. Uh, so that uh, for the first pipe it becomes A1, V1. For the second pipe it becomes A2, V2. For the third pipe it becomes A3, V3. These three should be equal from the continuity equation. So if we have two pipes, uh, uh, the water is flowing from the one pipe to other pipe, then according to continuity equation, A1, V1 equal to A2, V2. So from this relation, we got this. So I substitute the area formula that is pi by 4 D square. So pi by 4 D1 square into V1, V1. Again, that should be equal to pi by 4 D2 square into V2. That should be equal to pi by 4 D3 square into v3 from this equation we got v1 is equal to 4 q by pi d1 square in the similar way v2 is equal to 4 q by pi d2 square in the similar way v3 is equal to 4 q by pi d3 square so these values we have to substitute in the v1 v2 v3 values we have to substitute in this equation so by substituting uh, v1 v2 v3 in that equation we get uh, that means head loss h is equal to 4 f l1 in the f1 place i substituted f itself uh, in v place v1 place we can write 4 q by pi d1 square which we earlier got by 2 g d1 plus 4 f l2 in v2 plus 4 q by pi d2 square by 2 g d2 plus 4 f l l3 into v in v3 plus 4 q by pi d3 square sorry i forgot to put whole square by 2 g d3 so by solving this 4 square becomes 16 16 into 4 becomes 64 so 4 into 16 f q square by 2 g pi square common terms i am taken out remaining terms i am writing inside then it becomes l1 by d1 power 5 plus l2 by d2 power 5 plus l3 by d3 power 5 so this is the uh, this is for which pipe we got now uh, this is for the compound pipe that means different pipes for different pipes we got l1 l2 l3 now we have to equate this head loss to the head loss of the equivalent pipe because according to the law 
the discharge are and the head loss in both equivalent pipe and compound pipes are equal so that's why we have to find out the head loss in case of the equivalent pipe and we have to equate both of them so now head loss in head loss in equivalent pipe equivalent pipe h is equal to 4 flv square by 2 gd 4 flv square by 2 gd already we have v is equal to q by a from q is equal to area into velocity from that v is equal to q by a and q by in equivalent pipe we have single dia that's why i am keeping d square itself then it becomes 4q by pi d square substituting this velocity in the above equation we get head loss is equal to 4fl into 4q by pi d square whole square by 2gd this should be equal to 4 multiplies by 16q square f by 2g into pi square into l by d power 5 so this is the equation we got now what we have to do we have to equate both the head losses that means head loss in case of the equivalent pipe that is this one and head loss in case of the compound pipe by equating these two we got 4 into 16 f q square by pi square 2 g l 1 by d 1 power 5 plus l 2 by d2 power 5 plus l3 by d3 power 5 this should be equal to this is the head loss we got in compound pipe this should be equal to head loss in case of the equivalent pipe that is 4 multiplies by 16 q square by pi square 2g multiplies by l by d power 5 from this by solving these terms two terms will be cancelled both sides from this we got the equation l by d power 5 is equal to l1 by d power 5 plus l2 by d2 power 5 plus l3 by d3 power 5. So this equation is known as the Dupuis equation and in this equation whatever will be the l will be there this should be equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 and this is the equivalent size of the pipe from this we got what is the for equivalent pipe how much length we have to keep and how much diameter we have to uh, keep um, so that we can obtain the same discharge as we obtained from the compound pipe so this is the expression and this expression is mostly uh, used when we solving the problems uh, for equivalent pipe in next video uh, we will solve one problem based upon the this model. Thank you.